So Sanjay said, uh, uh, was uh, trying to, I mean, in his running commentary to Dhritarashtra, the blind person, the blind king, and he says, Eda Shrutva, having heard this, Vachanam Keshavasya, Krishna's words, having heard this, Kridanjali Vepamana Kiri, Kridanjali, with the folded palm, Vepamana, shivering in gratitude, wonderment, respect, a plethora of various emotions flooding in his mind, He's shivering. <coughs> he prostrate, bowed down, folded the palm and bowed down. Who bowed down? Kiridi, the one who is crowned. See that how Sanjay is hinting at the blind man. That's when such a great master is supporting. And he says, I am already king. So your sons have already become pickle. It's only bo not yet bottled. Soon it will be bottled. Now at least they tell them not to fight. And here you are, the Kiridi, the one who is wearing the crown, is prostrating. Wearing the crown? He is yet to wear the crown of the kingdom. It's the future. This is to hint at the old man that Arjuna is going to, Pandava is going to win, they are going to get the kingdom, they will get the crown, and that Kiridi is now prostrating. That is, to be Kiridi, he is now prostrating. Namaskritva Bhuya Eva. Namaskritva, doing namaskar, prostration. Bhuya Eva, again. Aha, he said to Krishna, to Lord Krishna, what? Sagadgatam. How did he say? He said the following. How did he say? Sagadgatam, with his throat choked with emotion, he could not express bhita bhita pranam. Doing prostration, bhita bhita, fearing, trembling in fear, Born out of respect and reverence, the the uh, the throat choked with this emotion of devotion. Here, Krishna, I mean Arjuna, again said the following things to Krishna. This second wave of Arjuna's glorification of Krishna is a typical example of a universal prayer. It is not Hinduism, there is no deification, it is not Christianity, it is not Mohammedanism or Buddhism, but it is the essence and core of all scriptures of the world. Revering and respecting to that supreme intelligence behind this beautiful scientific cosmic world of things and beings. It is right. It is appropriate. What? He Rishi Kesha Tavapragatya. He Rishi Kesha. Rishi Kesha meaning the enlivener of all sense organs. O oh Lord, who is in the heart of all, who enlivens everything, who gives the consciousness or the light to the eyes to see, the ears to hear. That mighty silent power in every one of us. Hey, Rishi Kesha, it is appropriate that Tava Prakritya Parishari, by glorifying thee, the world of people in the world, Prakritya rejoices, Anurajya Decha are delighted. It is appropriate. Till now I had a feeling that these prayers, etc., are all stupid superstitions. Now we understand that the word, the very vitalizer, the very enliver of all activities in life. And when the people prostrate or glorify thee, they feel in their minds a great rising waves of joy, rejoicing and delighted they feel. It is Tani. It is not Astana.
it is right and appropriate. When the mind is thus turned towards the higher, all your negative tendencies and accessing forces, the devilish, the wicked ideas run away from you. The wickedness come only when the actions are undertaken with ego and selfish desires. When your mind is turned to the higher, you are no more identified with the ego and the selfish desires. Therefore, all the evil thoughts run away, and the mind delights and rejoices in the wondrous experience of quietitude, sattvikata, quietness of the mind. Sarve namasyande jasitta sangha. When such, I mean, uh, at, the, at thy feet or altar, even Siddha Sangha, those who have achieved the highest and who are still in the heaven, all those saints and sages and masters and rishis, all of them are equally prostrating, as all other devotees, at thy altar, at thy feet. Namasyande. Mm. Smacha. Why should they not? Nanna Melan, Te Nanna Melan, why should they not prostrate you? These great rishis and realized saints and sages of the heavens, even they prostrate you. And Arjuna himself was, why should they not prostrate you? It is most appropriate they must prostrate you. Why? You are nobler than even the Brahmaji, the creator who is the creating the whole universe. Even that Brahmaji gains his power to create from thee. The what earlier than even Brahmaji? Even creator is only an expression of thee through the total mind. And therefore, why should they not also prostrate to you? Ananda Devesha Jagannivas, Ananda Infinite, Devesha Lord of Lords, O Infinite Lord of Lords, Jagannivasa, the very abode, the very shelter, the very home, the house of Jagat, the world of plurality. The home of the waves is the ocean. The shelter of the pots is the clay. In the same way, that which is from which all these universes of names and forms have risen and are constantly dancing in. Thou art the very abode of the universe. Tvamakshalam, you are the immutable. Sadasattad, that which is satthandasat, both with form and without form. Param Yada, that supreme state, whatever it is, that is you. Now I know who you are. I am. I. Uh, why should you not even the wise people prostrate you? Because you are greater and nobler than the very Creator. The very Creator is drawing its nurture and nourishment and dynamism from thee. It is most appropriate. Continue.